Hello everybody, so today we're going to be doing Cambridge Primary Science Test. Today, and this is paper due, and we will have 45 minutes to complete the test, and we need pencil, pen, ruler, and um, calculator. So, let's start. So, heat's a salt solution as shown in the diagram. So here's the beaker, there is the salt solution, dish, and the gentle heat. Next. What substance is given off when the salt solution is heated gently? Well, steam is left. Steam is created. E-A-M. Or we could write water vapor. What is the name of the process taking place in the beaker? Well, that is called condensation because of the bubbles that we can see. So we're going to write condensation. Right? There. C-O-N-D-E-N-S-A-T-I-O-N. -E condensation. Next. So now removes the beaker and continues to heat the salt solution what will be left um in the dish when she's finished heating well salt will be left because all the water will evaporate away and the salt will be remaining how can a salt solution be obtained from what is left in the dish well we can add water there we go add water t-e-r next oops my eyes are so messy well, let's go Okay, Sophia investigates electrical circuits to see how they behave. The first, the first working circuit she built is shown in the picture. Okay, so here's the cell, there is the lamp and the lamp holder and the switch. What happens to the brightness of the lamp if Sophia adds another lamp? Well, there'll be less br bright. There'll be less bright. It's less bright. H T. If there was another cell and there was another bulb, then they would work fine. But there's only one cell and there's more bulbs, lamps. That's why. Sophia now replaced one of the wires with a wire that is five times longer. Well, pretty much the there'll be less. It'll take more time for it for the electric current to flow. So we can also write the same answer: less light for this one too less light i g h t less light next sophia now replaced the wire with one one the same length but much thicker well there it will be more bright so there'll be more light now we'll write more light h t next sophia um removes one of the lamps from its holder so well then all of the lamps will go out so we're gonna write that all lamps lamps go out next the diagram shows a human body and part of one of its major organ system okay which organ system is shown Okay, this is the digestive system because of the stomach, the small intestines and everything. So, it's a digest digestive system. Name the um, organ labeled A. So, that is the stomach, that main part. So, let's write that. S-T-O-M-A-C-H. Stomach. Next. Look at the diagram. Which letter shows the position of the heart? Well, we all know our heart is right here, so our answer is Q. Next, what is the function of the heart? The heart's function is to pump blood. Pump blood. Next, what does the um, excretory system do? Well, it removes waste. R E M O V E S removes waste w a s t e next the scale shows the temperature at which some food melts which some foods melt okay which food melts at the lowest temperature ice cream that is our answer c r e 
a m next okay so what is the melting point of chocolate okay so if you can see it's 20 21 22 23 24 so from my precisely it is on 23 i think so you can write that you can write on um, 22 or 23 but for my own i think it's on 23 the temperature in the kitchen is 20 degrees celsius the temperature inside a fridge is 5 degrees celsius mark these temperatures on the diagram which food needs to be kept in the fridge to stop it from melting well that will be butter butter b u t t e r next let me flip the page there we go the diagram shows the um cross section of a flower okay um name the labeled parts part of the flower which okay attract insects well those are the petals because of their bright color or another reason we could say is because of the smell it attracts them so um contains pollen well the anther right here contains the small pollen grains so a we'll right anther h e r next is sticky and catches pollen well that is stigma d i g stig stig ma now this is right here this is the stigma part next insects are often attracted to flowers because they are brightly colored name one other thing that attracts insects to flowers well that could be the smell as i said so now write that next a shadow play is a puppet show that uses light and shadow to tell a story the diagram shows how it works okay we can see that how do the puppet how how do how does the puppet make a shadow on the screen well it blocks the light so we're going to write that it blocks c k s blocks d light now the puppet is moved to make a bigger shadow which letter shows the um direction of the movement well if we move it closer to the light then it will get become bigger so c is our answer for this question what does what word describes materials that do not let light through opaque things o p a q u e next Nesreen is playing the guitar which is a musical instrument. She um plucks a string to make a sound. What is the word used to describe the movement of the string? Well, that would be vibrate. V I B R A T E. Vibrate. She plays a higher note. Which word describes how high or low a note is? Tick the correct box, the pitch. Write two ways she could make a higher note on the guitar. Well, um she could pluck a thinner string. Let's write that. P L U C K pluck a thinner T H I N N E R thinner string. S T R I N G next. So the next reason could be she could um stretch the string tighter. Stretch. Oops, wait, let me write that. S T R E stretch. There we go. The string D R I N G string tighter. E, oops wait d i g h t e r there we go tighter next 
Look at the diagram of the sun and the earth. Complete the sentences. The earth rotates on its axis every 24 hours. Once every 24 hours. The earth's orbit around the sun takes 365 days. Water can um, exist in three different forms. Yes, yeah, so water vapor. So there's ice, water, and water vapor then. W-A-T-E-R, water vapor. V-A-P-O-U-R, water vapor. Complete the um, diagram by writing the missing words in the box. What is the name of process to shown in the um, diagram when water turns into ice? That's called freezing. F R E E Z I N G, freezing. Oh, next. Sort these materials into solids, liquids, and gases. Um, write the letters in the correct place in the table. Okay, so soap is solid, so we'll write that. And we also have to write the letters. So A is solid, B is liquid because it's juice, C is gas because it's a balloon, and D is also solid because it's a gold ring. A scuba diver has jumped out of an aircraft but has not yet opened her parachute. Which of these statements best describes what is happening? Tick the correct statement. She, she is pulled towards the earth by the force of gravity. No, it's not pushed. She is pulled towards the earth by the force of gravity. She is pulled towards the earth by um, air resistance. She is pulled towards the earth by air resistance. Well, our proper answer will be she is pulled towards the earth by the force of gravity. Which of the followings, following are examples of force? Well, that would simply be, okay, so a horse pulling a cart. Yes, that is it. The mass of a van. No. A magnet attracting a nail. Yes, that is correct. And um, if we use matches too, that is also our answer. So, next. The picture shows three living organisms in a food chain. Okay. Draw arrows to complete the food chain. Okay, so first the um, impala will eat the grass and then the cheetah will eat the impala which organism is a pre, pr, um, producer well that is grass grass next um which organism is the predator that is the cheetah g-e-e-d-a-h cheetah next eating a very diet is very important to keep our bodies healthy. Look at the diets of Sidke and Fatima. Who has the healthier diet? Tick the correct boxes. Okay, so um, this person looks like he eats sweets and chocolate and drinks fizzy drinks and enjoys eating meat. Well, in, in, enjoy eating um, meat is good, but he also eats chocolate and sweet, so that is not good. Fatima enjoys eating fruit, enjoys, um, enjoys eating meat, and drinks plenty of water. Yes, she eats healthy food. Um, what we eat can be damaging to our teeth. Take two um, foods which can lead to tooth decay. Well, eating sugary foods and fizzy drinks. Okay, next. Yusha sets up this circuit, okay? She describes how her circuit works. Take one box in each row to say whether each statement is true or false. Okay. Um, electric current keeps flowing from the cell around the um, circuit. True. If there is a gap in the circuit after the cell, it will still work. False. Because if there is any gap anywhere in the whole circuit, um, then it is going to be wrong, first of all. Because then it won't work. So, next. Classics were on a field trip. They observed many animals. Back in school, they used a key to identify four of the animals. Okay. 
Okay, so now we have to identify them and write the names. Okay, let's do that. So D, um, does it have six legs? Um, does it have legs? Has it got legs? No, it doesn't. So it is an Aaron. R I O N. Oops, wait, my writing. Let me fix that. A R I O N. There we go. Next, C. Um, has it got um has it got four wings? No, it has two wings. So this is um muska muska m u s c a there next okay next is b okay has it got um has it got um four wings well yes it does have four wings so is listus listus l e s l e s t e s next last one is a Okay, has it got six legs? No, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight legs. So it is an atrex. E T atrex. Okay, so now I'm gonna quickly. Oh, looks like we have to match them right here. So let's quickly match them. So we'll write A is atrex. B is listus. C is musca, and D is um, Okay, this one. Mixtures of two different solids can be separated by different methods. Draw a line from each mixture to, um, to make sure to how it can be separated. Okay, so we can separate the mixed nuts by our hand. The um, iron powder and salt can be also separated with the magnet and the flour and the rice can be separated by semen next the diagram shows a thermometer write the letter a in the box next to the boiling point of water well the boiling point of water is 100 degrees celsius we're gonna write a here write the letter b in the box next to the melting point of water melting point of ice okay well that is gonna be right here zero degrees celsius done next um, the table shows some materials found in Mr. Um, Bedell's house. Take the materials which come from living things. Okay, so um, wood comes from living things, silk and wool. Oh, okay, so that is all. That's going to be the end. Bye.